Hello everyone, White Mage Serenia here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. In our last episode, we made it to the Cloister of Trials. A strange glyph glows on the wall. Yay, what's going on? Oh, a glyph appeals on the wall. Meow. Okay, now you want to run over here, touch the glyph. Glyph, glyph, glyph. <laughs> and a path opens up. How about that? <laughs> Take the Besaids, er, uh, yeah. Destruction Sphere, Besaids Sphere. Okay, Ducky Zen. Uh huh. Take the sphere, Titus. Thank you. Gonna try something here. Let's increase the sharpness. That might help the video quality, I would think. Okay. Just the brightness a little bit. Oh, no, no, don't want that. Brightness all the way up. I mean, contrast. Okay, take the glyph sphere. Again. Oh, wait, where am I going now? Okay. Yay. And here's the destruction sphere. Man, this is really dark. Okay. What we want to do at this point is take the destruction sphere, take it all the way back to the beginning here, and place it right back here. Okay, I'm actually going to try something really quick. Okay, I didn't think so. Okay. Now that we have that out of the way, come over here. Oh, that's where we need the Besaid Sphere, okay. Um, wait a second, what, something's not right here. Oh yeah, there we go, touch the symbol on the wall. And lo and behold, another door opens. Yay. Come in here and grab the, uh, the Sage Sphere. Take it. Yeah, we got it. Okay, now place the, dis the Besaids Sphere here. But we're not done yet. Remember that Destruction Sphere we put in the door earlier? Let's go back and get it. Tidus. Oh, great. Now, can we please move? Thank you. Now, let's grab our destruction sphere from the door paneling. Now, let's take the destruction sphere all the... Oops, back in here. Slam it in the wall. Now, there's going to be a destruction sphere puzzle in every one of the temples, obviously uh, varying with difficulty. Um, so you, you, uh, if you want to get something later on in the game, namely a certain overpowered summon, then you will want to collect all six of the destruction sphere, you will want to complete all six destruction sphere puzzles. Now, the certain summon that I'm referring to isn't as overpowered in this version as he is in the PAL version, but he's still pretty dang strong. Uh, no, we don't want to take the sphere. We actually want to push it this time. And yay, we took care of that. It's gotten into you. It's okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. It's a tradition. Very important. So what about you? Me? I'm a guardian. 
A guardian? Oh, really? You could have told us that to begin with. Someone has gone on a pilgrimage to Ooh, pray at right. the temple in Spira. Guardians protect them. The Guardian's in there now. One of them's got a sure fuse, and who knows what the other's thinking. Well, now that we come this far, might as well go all the way. Sure thing, Waka. What are you doing here? Didn't think we'd be able to handle it. No, it's... Let me actually uh, lower the contrast and see just... what happens. Yow, that does not work. See, All the way up then. Is the summoner alright? <sighs> Who are <laughs> you? I'm Tita Star of the Zanarkand Abes. What has she been doing in there? <laughs> She's pretty, whoever she is. And she's all sweaty. I have become a summoner. Oh, goody! Man, was I surprised. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. All right, now we get to go outside. <laughs> Anyways, we actually get to name the Aeons, and um, I kind of found a problem. I'm wanting to name all the Aeons after certain Let's Players. However, there's not enough male Let's Player, or I mean, enough male Aeons to go the way that I really want it to go. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to alter something a little bit and hope that they understand. And you'll see soon enough what I mean. Wait till you see this. I can't see anything. Ready. Okay. Whoosh! Hello! Now, to my knowledge, Valfor, or this Aeon, is actually a female, so that's where the naming dilemma kind of comes in. The faith for the Aeon is a female anyway, so... That's what I'm trying to say there. So we'll come up... What I've come up with is I'll tell you more about it when I actually get to name it. So we'll see soon enough. Hopefully I have, have enough time to get to the naming spot. Life. Sure, 
It was a little scary, but still, I could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. Woo. Okay, good. Now, the name that I've chosen for this is going to be based off a loyal gamer, but since Velfor is supposed to be a female, I'm going to use the female spelling of his actual name, which is Aaron. So that said, I'm going to name Velfor after him, but in a different light. So hopefully you'll understand a loyal gamer, and hopefully you won't be mad at me for this. But there we go. We're going with Aaron. But I'm all out of time, so we're going to proceed in the next episode, guys. Thanks for the support, and thanks you again for watching. See you again real soon, everyone.